Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Fortress Striker, and uh, today I uh, went to, to the Rock Game Shop. I was just going to be there to chill with my friend Jordan. Uh, we were going to buy the Chibi Mats for, um, that just came out today, but recently they didn't. Uh, apparently, that's what they said that they had. There was like one more Chibi Mat coming out. It's supposed to be with the Dark Magician Girl on it with Yugi. So, um, I have to wait for that. I'll wait for next week because I'm going to go back next week for the Dragon's Legend 2 booster box so uh, until then I just wanted to let you know I went to do a small tournament today they were just bored as hell so they're just like okay and if you get players let's just have a tournament and luckily I'm glad there was a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players more than us and we usually don't get it on Wednesdays but whatever we just do it for fun so I joined my friend Jordan joined plus he was my ride so yeah so I went there today uh, my first opponent was obviously Jordan. We were just laughing when we found out. We were just laughed our ass off so bad. Then we took it off. We were just talking shit. We just like to do a little rivalry there like we had back and forth. Uh, my Black Wings versus his uh, Elemental Heroes. So uh, I went 2-1 because uh, the second game I didn't think I did well and I kind of misplayed a little. So and he had a higher advantage. So first game I had an incredible advantage because. I fucking went three synchros in one turn, in the first turn, so he pretty pissed me off. I had a Hawk Joe, a No Thong, and a Beal, so my opponent was like, fuck. In the third game, I actually kind of got up to him against him. Beals was like the number one priority against. He tried to compulse it when he finally had it, and then I lanced it, so he couldn't do anything. And then he had 300, so I tagged with my Roshi with 400, so he was like, insult. My second game was uh, against uh, Alex, if you remember him, he was the one with the Satellar Knight. He used Shadal's. So I got my ass kicked there, 0-2, uh, because Shadows are annoying, and they're really definitely difficult to take on. My third game was against uh, a duelist with uh, Spiritual Beast, so, you know, Ritual Beast, and uh, I went 2-1, so I won. I actually beat my first Ritual Beast deck, it was the second, player, second time I ever taken on Ritual Beast in my life. Uh, third game got me there second game helped make sure i got a lot third game won me because of the fact that uh i had to try to make sure that i realized that if i keep feeding if i could finish chain my opponent's monsters and i could uh solve their fusions they can't do anything else and i stopped their back rows i got a chance i had armadies on the field in the last game got it he scooped in the end but because you know that's 2300 so i won and then my final opponent was a Quillfort player, which I got my ass kicked because I hate Quillforts. Out of all of them, I think Quillforts is a real dick. Quillforts and then Shadals. Because now, I'm having a tough problem because now they're, they're just unbelievable. I hate it. But we thought it was going to be like fourth place, but it turns out we all did share pack, so we did a little first place thing. So we, that's what they said. So I'll just say in my video, it would be top four. Anyway, after a little few warnings, I'll show you now my deck profile of what I did today. Now, to be honest with you, I just scrambled what I did with the extra deck because I need to add two cards. It wasn't, the extra deck's incomplete. These two are fine. I'll have to work on those after my rules. So, anyway, let's get straight to the deck profile. So, stars, of course, I play triple Chura. Uh, you gotta play three because three actually helps a lot. I play double Chris. Uh, two Chris's are fine. I'm Okay, with no, I have no problem with it. Health a lot, it's 1900, can't be destroyed by spell traps, love it. And uh, making his return is double Bora. Uh, a lot of people have been asking with Bora, and I decided to bring my Bora, and actually Bora helps me a lot faster than you think. Uh, I guess my plays up top speed, and I get to do whatever. I enjoyed it. Double Gale. Gale helped me a lot with uh, the summoning for No Thong, and just half my opponents at attacking defense. I enjoy it. I love this card. Double Blizzard. Without this card, no thong is nothing. I'm glad to use this to go for the Beals or City Hunk Show playoff. It's incredible. I play Triple Clute. You gotta play three of these. You gotta, can't be stupid. Double Pinocchi. I love the fact when you sure you can use him and then just keep doing the playoff. It's pretty incredible. So, I'm glad to have this. So, because my searches have been pretty useful. And then for the one ups, I played the Return of Kochi, Zephyros, Gladius, and Aroshi. I did get to use this. 
immediately on the first turn of the Shadow player summoned this and he summoned a level 4 which was a uh, Bora and then I uh, synchro for Beals and he was like kind of a little bit locked on because he was afraid of Beals he couldn't, he couldn't handle it, it was so annoying but I uh, enjoy it I even used this to bring out Armor Master during the Quill cool play but it was a like I said, those two were my worst duels to take on because I got my ass kicked for two years and I didn't get one point. So, yeah. So that's uh, it for the monsters. For the spells, I played Triple Whirlwind. I went Whirlwind like a couple times. It uh, it helped me in the fact that I get to get my surges up, play return, do whatever. I love it. It's perfect. Uh, double duality. I was so slow in the game, but I still enjoy it. Alert, see how it was gonna play off, but he kinda of fucked me up with the first game of the Ritual Beast. But other than that, I had this on my first turn in the hand, just in case, and it was awesome, I loved it. The Lances, I actually loved playing these, these were so good. They, I saw these a lot in the game, they helped me protect my Beals, they helped me with like, monsters, it was whatever, I loved it. I used it on Hanjo, prevented from destruction for that Ritual Beast. Trap card that you know, destroyed well, for amount of ritual use markers you have. Uh, double MST. I uh, so so got sorry couldn't see this a lot, so I don't know what to do, but I may have to bump this to three if I can. This deck has a lot of consistency on it, so I'd like to leave it out of this for now or whatever. Uh, Regeki and uh, Soul Shard. I did not get to play this today. Uh, Regeki was okay a little bit, but. You know, help against the ritual beast. You want to use it before they contact you because if they not, it, it gets a pain in the ass. That's it for the spells. For traps, I play double Icarus. I stay with two Icarus. I'm not playing three anymore. Three gets sometimes a little cloggy. I get feel with three, so you're resourceful. You want to use this to get rid of back rows. You want to get rid of like a lot of annoying stuff. So yeah. Warning. Bottomless. Compulse, I didn't get to use bombers today, but uh, yeah, it's pretty resourceful. The Phoenix Chains helped a lot today, making sure like, my opponent couldn't do anything. I love the fact you use this against the Wind Construct, they can't, they're useless on the field. And then finally, the two Black Sonics. I had these in the field, I didn't, I only activated it on my friend Jordan when he played the Shining, so that was about it. It was not good. As I thought, and I already keep used to this, but every time I don't have a black wing monster in my field, it's, it gets me to a point that I'm kind of looped, so I may have to have no choice but to drop this, and I don't want to, but there's nothing I can do about it. And uh, that's it for the deck, it's 41 actually. And now for the extra deck. Uh, play Samsar or Dragon, I just play it there for whatever you know just in case I just because I was in a hurry because the uh, timing I played well, oh actually no sorry one Armades I get to play this one time against the Ritual Beast this got me the win Armades is so good the fact that you can't do anything I love it I had one Vulcan I wish I had a play to use this again to return the construct by dumb goof so there was nothing I can do about it the best one of all was Double Nathong. This card was so MVP of the game. The reason why was because every time I just summon, I just 800 damage my opponent, just inflate 800 to him. It was so hilarious, and I used it against Jordan because I locked my ass off. I love this card. Goyo, uh, did not go for it, but it's pretty, sure it was pretty resourceful. Block Rose, didn't go for it. Armor Master went for it. Sometimes it helps. Uh, Sydney Hawk Joe went for it. These guys have to be careful because I know they always use Dark Hole or Geki, whatever, to it. Uh, I used Lance to prevent from destruction during a Ritual Beast to bring, and then you see hit Minor Thong and Benaki, so this card has to save and my opponent had to turn. And for level 8, I play Stardust. I didn't play this card. I apparently I now play this card a lot, but I like how it is, you know, just in case you can never know when you need to start a Star Spark Dragon, so I just leave it in the deck. Uh, Beals, another one of my MVPs for a few duels, a couple duels, because this card obviously is a huge fucking wall, and I love it. I just need to keep protecting it, that's all. I have one Miss Worm. Uh, it's not been played yet, but 
this could have helped uh, any soon. And I play one Leo, I didn't play this either. So I didn't. And uh, yeah, so. And I play for rank 4, so my 101 in Castell. I was gonna play Castell, but Quillforge just fucking prevent anything to do it. So stupid. I couldn't do anything. I was done with found it. So, yeah. I actually am playing some Xyz, so I'm trying to see that because I'm playing the Boros. So, yeah. But what I would do is obviously I still need to have a Hark Joe and Clear and Clearing Synchro Dragon. Those are my only options, but apparently they still don't have it, so we're getting new. So that's it for the extra deck. Uh, for the side deck, I had two Flying Seas. I never played any Exceeds deck, so this was the 9 here. Two Eclipse, no Winniclaw, so that's fine. Two Spell of Sharings, I played the Cleave Forge, I didn't have to draw this, so it was screwed. Uh, two Lion Prison Mirrors, no Stellar Knights, so this was nothing. Two of Drama Trios, I played this in the deck, I played it once, I've used it to Quill Forge. This really used this against Quill Forge, I believe, if you know how to use it well, to make sure that you couldn't do anything, because these cards can be tributed, they can get their plays off, and you kind of stall them for out. Um, another thing is that I also try to use the Spiritual Beast, so that way they don't get their plays off to get their monsters out over and over. Well, Drama Trio is a really good tech card to use against decks these days. So, yeah. I play Triple Mind Crush. I did not get to play this uh, at all. So, but I think if I would use this against Cool Forge, I should have done that. That would have helped a lot. And I had to demolish for the shells and didn't play. So, yeah. So, that rounds about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, deck profile. I did one two two today. All uh, right, so one more time. It was Elemental Heroes, Shadows, Spiritual Beast, and Cool Forts. So I had a great. It was a great time. I got. I actually got to win four packs. I bought a number of hunters. They had some. I didn't want to buy Astro Pack Sevens because they were lame. So um, yeah. So that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this a like. Comment what you guys think. Share this to your friends, subscribe if you're new, like my Facebook page, and this is Fortress Striker, signing off.